Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. So for today's reading, I'm going to be telling you what's going on in your love life and who you're dealing with. So as you can see, I have premeditated and shuffled on your cards. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so your first card is photograph. So it says here, this person is looking at you, looking at your photos. They miss you. They have a sense of nostalgia and want to make new memories with you. Mirror. So you both mirror each other. You both have a certain self-image. Um, the relationship that this person have reflects on their wounds. And there is to be some introspection coming in. Healing heart. So this person is healing from some heartbreak. They have freed themselves from a toxic relationship or an addiction. Clock. So they, this person needs some time. It does take time. And it says in time. There is some cycles they're going through. Needing some time to heal. And there is to be some progress. The butterfly. So there is to be a relationship that is going to be evolving, going to the next phase. Healing one's own inner child and there is to be some growth. Axe. So there is a breakup, separation, stopping some patterns. There is to be some silent treatment going on and the sense of an abandonment. Seduction, there is attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, there is temptation and a third party interference. This, this person is a chaser in a codependent relationship, so they have fear of abandonment issues. Sunglasses, this person may wear sunglasses. They watch you, they look at you, they stalk in you, they do gaslight, there is sense of perception and focusing out. We have date card, so you're going to be meeting someone new, so this is someone completely new. Um, there's to be a date, getting back up there and being ready to plan and set a date. Okay, unrequited love. So this is someone that you've been involved with once before. So there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Retreat. So it's time to disconnect from the world. Release your ex. So it's time to clear the energy. Romantic feelings. So your feelings are real and it is worth exploring. Reconciliation. There is to be reconciling with someone. Someone from your past is returning back to you. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have some faith. Engagement. You may be engaged to this person or they're going to be proposing to you. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment to go into the next stage. Wow. <laughs> Wedding. So you're going to be getting married or you're going to be meeting this person at um, a wedding. So the situation is involving some marriage. Religious factors. So either yours or this person's love life is being influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual paths. So this person may be religious or spiritual and you may be religious or spiritual. Express your love. So go ahead and make a romantic gesture. 
and then we have flute so extend your light-hearted energy to others okay let's see what your person want to say to you and they haven't had a chance to say right i want to be more than friends i don't know how hard that uh, you don't know how hard it was to let you go I hope that you can forgive me one day. We need to let each other go. I hide behind material things. It's basically I'm trying to avoid you. I hid who I really am from you. It's basically what I just said. I'm so attracted to you. I am afraid to contact you. You and I were too young. The timing just wasn't right for us. Just being near you is intoxicating. It was my fault, but I blamed you. You came closer than anyone. Sometimes I stay awake just thinking about you. I want to tell you how I feel. Okay, let's see who we're dealing with them with the... Uh, tarot cards okay so we have the high priestess so this person does have a lot of secrets but things are yet to be revealed they are going to be um revealed and this um the reverse queen of swords male or female i'm just saying as a female and so this person is overly critical they can be pessimistic malicious rude lacking in empathy um yeah, so these are two different energies I'm sensing here. Okay, let's see um, about this person, like the characteristics and stuff like that. Whoa, okay. Don't be kind of flying out. Okay, so this person works in IT, holiday romance. Friends with benefits, a male, works in charity, gone through some struggles, sarcastic sometimes. So I just had um, Spirit saying the name Kirsty. Okay, so we have a teacher, so this they may be a teacher they may have one earring or two earrings or multiple earrings we have ring and ring so they may have a ring they are a nurturer they're the other ones characteristics of the one aries is involved in in this reading So had spirit mentioning Kansas, so this person may live in Kansas or you live in Kansas. Okay, so this person's unemployed, loyal, emotionally cold, obsessive, have depression, can be re reckless, um, can be petty, they are very smart. Um, they can be very slow and happy, moody, burnt out, involved in sports, isolated, cooperative, um, a till worker, work in the media, um, a sugar mama. Uh, works in the hospital, works in school, 
have coloured air, ash blonde hair, um, has self-control, works with water, have brown skin, oppressed, February for a significance, January for significance, um, they may be pregnant, or you've got them pregnant, or they got you pregnant. Assertive, has a disability. August, trader for cars. Um, a zookeeper, tan skin. November, have long hair. Work on a plane. Um, you block this person. July, June, December, May. They are a seller. They sell things. Engineer. Have mental health issues. October, September. Oops, we have a 31st year. We have a 30th. We have a 29th. 27th, 28th, 26th, 25th, masculine, um, a game freak, gym freak, um, beautiful, 24th, 23rd, firefighter, out of control, dishonest, 22nd, Stunning, a mechanic, dependent, 21st, can be dangerous, fisherman, an assistant, 20th, um, a landlady, and we have the 19th, so I put them back in here. We also just had the name Mateo come through as well. And they mentioned about a gala. Let's see what other days and dates and things you're going to be seeing this person. When's Aries going to see this person? Okay, so we've got December and we've got 14th, 26th. Spirit mentioned October and something about a lion here. So they may have a lion tattoo or they are Leo. So you've got a first, seventh, twelfth, a Saturday, we have a sixteenth and a fifteenth. Okay, last thing now is um, the initials. Okay, what well, is the initials of the ones that Aries is connecting with in their love life? Had the name of Spence of the Significant Children and Toby and Tori. Okay, so we have the, uh, by initials I mean the first letter of their first name and first letter of their last name. So we have T Y G O. X A K N Z C M R A R G J G F M A W X X J O F O H Q C A E are you a f uh v d q v r o i x w x s e b l i m h m 
H E A X A S P L Z A W W M M C M G C O R M W Z F N V X I J Q K L E D G T J R A V P R B C T C and Y A. Okay then Aries, so that is who you're dealing with in your love life. If you can resonate with it, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and I'll see you all again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.